Yeah, g'day people at home, we're here again on the couch. Um, this week we've got a uh, up and coming superstar. Um, here he is, Brendan Leonard. How are you, Brendan? Yes. Jacko, how are you going? Good, good. Obviously, the quite intelligent, schooled Brendan Leonard today. Yes, yeah, so I was just uh, reading a book of one of many I've uh, already got through this tour. You're new to the squad, um, people don't really know too much about you, mate. So, can you just tell us sort of where you grew up and, and where you went to school? Yeah, sure. I was uh, originally from uh, Moranzal. I went to uh, my first first school. I went to was Tauhei Primary. Then I, uh, my parents, when I was eight, moved out to Tira, Okawari, in fact, which is out, just out of Tira. Yeah. For those people who don't know, that's uh, about 45 minutes um, south of Hamilton. And uh, so I went to Manamata College from there, and sort of my parents are still there at the moment. <coughs> and, uh, after school, so I just moved over to Hamilton. Been there ever since. As a young fellow, did you come up on a farm or were you a county? Or? Yeah, I was always, always on a dairy farm. I uh, sort of uh, got used to milking the cows every now and then and the old man was uh, sort of busy doing other bits and pieces. So always always a good time growing up on a dairy farm. You know, just heaps of, heaps of room to play around and then play cricket yeah. in the backyard from brother and, and whatnot. So I was definitely so, enjoyed growing up. On what, was, what was your favourite job? Like if your dad had, had asked you to do something, you'd say, yep, straight away, what was your favourite? Uh, probably feeding the calves actually in calving yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. Enjoyed that. Always, en always enjoyed doing that. Yep. So, mate, you know, like um, you sort of burst onto the scene over the last year or so. Um, what's been your biggest highlight so far? Um, obviously, been in been in this environment has been pretty special. I think uh, obviously playing my first test in, in Eden Park is probably, uh, to be honest, probably couldn't have a, a better place to play your first test if you ask me. And, yep. So it was, it was good to be part of, part of the uh, Tri Nations as well. Been been part of the Bledisloe Cup game is sort of uh, something we've always uh, thought would be pretty special, and obviously the World Cup as well. Hopefully, uh, will be another special couple of weeks ahead. Now, mate, there was an interesting incident the other day on the plane. I was sitting next to you, and um, we were talking to your hostess, and um, it came up that well, she was guessing the guy's age, and she, she guessed mine and guessed thirty, which isn't too far away. I was pretty happy with, you know, I was a little bit younger than that, but. Didn't really hurt me. Yet. Did, what did she guess for you? Can you remember? Nine, Nineteen was it? Nineteen. <laughs> no, thirty-one, mate. Uh, did that really cut you in half? Huh? <laughs> to be honest, mate, it's it's uh, it's, it's a little bit on the high side of what I'm what I'm used to. I'm used to around about the twenty high twenties, but low thirties, you know. But being a twenty-two-year-old yourself, <laughs> you know, that's great when you're at school when you want to go buy boots. Yeah, I know. And Harry, obviously we're a long way from home. Is, is there anybody come over to watch you or um, enjoy the experience with you? Uh, my sister uh, lives in London, so she pops over for uh, the games. And uh, my mum and dad actually just got here, got to Scotland a couple of days before the, the Scotland test. So they're sort of here right through to the, the end of the cup. So it's good to good to have that family support over here, and it's always um, not far away. So oh, it's good to be here. It's awesome. Hope they're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, they certainly are. They're sort of just travelling around the UK at the moment and pop over for the games and pop back off on their own little tour. Obviously, there's a lot of beautiful women here in France. Um, what, what do you look for in a woman? Well, yeah, like you see, they're a beautiful woman, but mate, I'm, I'm not a shallow guy. You know, I, I, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely look for what's uh, their personality and, and, and sort of what's on the inside that, that really counts to me. So, so obviously, that's been working for you with your conversational skills in French at, at this time. No. No? No, it hasn't, no. 